I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. With much apologies to Joyce Kilmer, I would like to revise this line to, I think that I shall never see a Pinoy painting lovely with only a tree. In case I'm mistaken, can you think of a famous Pinoy tree painting? Sure, we have paintings with trees like Amorsolo and Buenaventura, but they're often just a prop. Even if the painting is called the Tree of Life, like this one by Edades for Camp and Bottom, the people take away the attention from the tree. Yeah, we have solitary trees, but they're fantastical. And as much as they are big names in the art community, their works have not entered into the Pinoy subconsciousness that even a non-art lover would be familiar with the way every Pinoy is familiar with the following paintings. We all think of the same painting when we think of Andres Bonifacio, Juan Luna, and Jose Rizal. Of course, I'm not saying that no solitary representational or realistic Pinoy tree works exist, but I can't think of a really famous one. I tried googling for famous Pinoy tree paintings and got zero results. Go ahead, try it yourself. This is such a shame given how many trees we have even more beautiful than the already beautiful cherry blossom. If my assessment is correct, may I pose a challenge to all Pinoy artists out here, hobbyists, emerging, mid-career, and living masters. Please, let's have an homage to our trees. Let them be the star, like what Stella Rojas did here. So, sort of. Rojas is a Filipino painter, but she painted a tree that does not grow in her country. So what's the big deal about painting a solitary native tree? Well, like I said, in a country blessed with so many trees, why not? What is the Philippines without trees? Art celebrates life, and what is life without trees? Trees in Pinoy art are essential. Art is essential. 